How China Builds So Fast Have you ever visited China? When was the last time you watched a documentary about China? What perception do you have in mind for China? Well, when we talk about this country, we cannot forget to mention its impressive buildings and infrastructures. The country has impressively progressed over the last few decades, and we can say that China now has the potential to become a superpower. Enormous infrastructures and rail tracks can be found all over China. China's ability to build enormous infrastructures in no time has made a difference. There was a time when China was only known for its ability to produce things in a great quantity, which makes it one of the world's largest markets. But what has changed in the last few decades that China is now known for its massive ability to build huge and rapid infrastructures. Hi guys, you are watching Technology Fit. And in today's video, we are going to talk about how this country is able to build things so fast. However, before we start, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so you never miss any updates. Now, without further ado, let's get into this. Let me tell you that this rapid construction industry of China is now the subject of discussion on many competitive platforms around the globe. Let's find out what is the secret behind this amazing ability. So, have you ever heard about the red tape concept in bureaucracy? If no, let me tell you that it is a concept that bureaucracy has different laws and channels according to which everything is done in a country. But if there is a dead end or delay in which bureaucracy cannot do much but wait for the official's orders. The red tape concept is very common all over the world, but when it comes to China, Everything is owned by the state. There are no hurdles while building enormous infrastructures in no time. The government doesn't need to get approval from someone, right? This is one of the biggest reasons why they are able to construct enormous buildings so fast. Think about it. They just need to plan something and then they can immediately start working on it. On the other hand, in other big countries such as the UK and the USA, there are some procedures and complications through which the whole process is examined and so on. In other countries, they might have to apply for land and then feasibility reports are made. The whole idea is approved by many government institutions. In China, they just build it. The government owns all the land. This makes it way more simple and easier to build huge infrastructures magically faster. One of the latest examples is that China built a fully functional hospital in just five days because they had too much load of COVID-19 cases. Moreover, they have the world's largest international airport and dams along with a cluster of new skyscrapers all over China. China has made possible everything in the field of rapid construction. And by this magical power, China is urbanizing its cities way faster than ever. In this difficult time of the pandemic, China's energetic workforce is working at the same pace as they were, not just buildings. China is doing wonders in the rail network, which will make China the only country with the largest rail network in the world. This country has announced a massive initiative to expand its railway network in order to promote urbanization and improve local economies. China's state railway group has announced a new proposal to extend the network to about 200,000 kilometers by the end of the next decade. The proposal also calls for expanding the elevated rail network to 70,000 kilometers. China currently has about 141,000 kilometers of rail tracks, which makes it the second largest rail system in the entire world. It has 36,000 kilometers of elevated rail tracks. China's state-owned railway group, in particular, wants to link rural and developing areas, as well as locations with significant migrant populations. And they've created much of the incredible technology to make it happen so easily and effectively. Take its rail system, for example. For most of its routes, the fast rail network is constructed, eliminating the need for signals. In China, they built this awesome vehicle that moves across the railway line, bearing a portion of the concrete structure. It slides out and lowers the base along to the next bridge, then moves the rail track out and lowers it into position, using the framework as a counterbalance. Lift it, drive again, and head back to the next location to collect the next structure. Another reason why China is not reluctant while planning the huge infrastructures is that there is no environmental analysis about the spot. They just build it on one political decision, and it's the end of the story. China's massive ability in civil engineering has helped them a lot in this whole process. 
China's engineers have become so battle-hardened and experienced that complexity is just a word for them. Along with building giant infrastructures within China, the Chinese engineering companies are now using their experience and knowledge around the globe. Recently, China's engineering companies started working on projects like CPEC in Pakistan and have built countless tunnels within the mountain ranges of Pakistan. Chinese engineering companies are known as innovators in the world of construction. The way they make things look easier is way more complex than it seems. Procurement is another advantage for China and a secret in China's rapid building. All over the world, when a project is approved, it is taken down for bidding and choosing a company with better background and license, which may include complications sometimes. This is not the case in China. There is a state-owned construction company that is there to serve 24-7. Government just has to approve a project, and there it goes with the state-owned construction company. Multiple Chinese regions have implemented programs, encouraging the incorporation of gardens into tall buildings. When measuring the current process in eastern China, for instance, a structure with a sky garden will exclude these open areas from its overall surface area. This program considers the scale of a structure's floor space to the scale of the land it lies on. In China, the housing sector and construction industry has been boosted up to an extent that there is no place in China where construction is not happening. Investment decisions in new development schemes are projected to fuel the industry's growth over the forecast period. These ventures involve developments in 5G technology, AI, the Internet of Things, and data centers, among others. Around 2020 and 2025, China is reportedly expected to invest $1 trillion in new infrastructure programs. Transportation, solar power, and residential upgradation, and other construction projects will too contribute to the construction industry's expansion. With all the famous construction projects, China's construction sector has gained so much popularity in the world. With many ongoing 100-plus floors project and Beijing's tallest tower of 528 meters, China is indeed the world's leader in construction and building infrastructures. This rapid growth is indicating that China is going to be the next superpower of this world very soon. That's all for today's video, and if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Also, don't forget to share your thoughts with us in the comments section below. Moreover, you can also suggest to us the topics that you think we should cover in our upcoming videos. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe to it and press that notification bell so you receive a notification each time we upload an interesting video on this channel. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you in the next video. Take care and stay tuned.